Cognitive Labs is a acoustics technology company that provides uh, crystal clear signals to both men and machines. We also have a design shop that allows us to help customers for the first time introduce their new uh, dual microphone headset. So we help them design the first product. And it's uh, noise elimination, so that's one thing that's different than anything else that's out on the market. The second point is that the heritage really way back when were some people that came out of the hearing aid business, but they progressed it. So hearing aid is basically the opposite technology of what we're trying to do. They're trying to increase volume, we're trying to reduce and eliminate noise. So it's a totally different uh, spin on the same uh, fundamental technology. I should also say that our technology is a general purpose signal processing technology and right now we're focused on the acoustics arena as the first of many different possible applications. Beyond that we could do ultrasound for medical applications, radar and sonar and an endless number of opportunities. Traditional technologies uh, take a mixed signal of uh, voice and noise and what they try to do is put processing power on it to extract the voice out of the signal in general. And what happens when you do that is you then distort the voice because you're leaving some of the voice behind and taking some of the uh, noise with it. Our technology is uh, fundamentally different. Uh, basically what it does is it basically understands what the sound wave propagation is of sound waves and measuring what the sound wave should look like right about at this point close to your mouth in an acoustic bubble here. We're looking for the shape of the wave that would be built here. Any other wave coming from a different part of the room or even even short next to me would have a different shape. It will have like pebbles in a pond once it moves out further, the shape of the wave will change. And so we're preserving this and just ignoring every other noise. So what happens there is then a couple of things. First of all, it's natural because we're not distorting the voice. Secondly, it's instantaneous because it doesn't, uh, it requires uh, very little processing power and very little time to do it. So if you dropped a fork on a plate in a restaurant, you wouldn't hear it. So it's just fundamentally different. And the third is it's a very clear signal to both speech communications for people and also a clean signal to go to rec voice recognition engines for all the command and control applications that we're hearing about that are coming in automobiles and other applications as well. No training at all. It's, it's, it's instantaneous. We do the software. So we provide the software that's uh, boarded onto the more popular uh, Bluetooth uh, DSP chipsets. And then once we've ported onto uh, a chipset, for example, uh, Cambridge Scientific Radio, CSR, enjoys a, a lion's share of the market for Bluetooth. That was the first chipset that we did. And so anyone that's choosing to use that for Bluetooth, which is most of the world, uh, already has the capability of using our technology without making any changes to it. The other part of it is that most people are unfamiliar with using more than one microphone, so therefore we have our acoustic design services to help them understand how to build the most optimal solutions, where to place the microphones, where to place the antennas to get the least amount of noise, uh, how to mount the microphones to seal them properly. So we provide those services to our customers as well. So why the demo? Uh, during the demo, it was uh, it sounded very choppy, very uh, the quality was not that good. We had two demos. We had one that was into a car. It was a live demo uh, where the car was running. It was actually a, a big SUV where the car was running. The air conditioning was on high. The noise from the radio was blasting, and there were people talking in the car. And you could hear barely hear any of the conversation in the car. As soon as we turned on the car kit, all that went away and it was a very clear, natural voice. The second demonstration, we're not sure exactly what happened other than perhaps they were recording the voice and the noise and they may have played back the noise portion before we actually turned on the car kit. So we won't be able to investigate that until tonight after the show and we're looking into it with the audio people. I can tell you last night was perfect. The audio people were very, very 
surprised and excited about the technology. There's no reason to believe it wouldn't be today if it had done if it had worked properly. So last question, when are we going to see this uh, on a commercial product? It's, it's already built into a commercial product from GG Telecom based in Taipei. Uh, they have production volumes are building right now. They're feeding their distributors and their channels. And I'm not sure exactly what the timing is, but typically it takes 60 days to fill the channels to get to the retail stores. But the product is complete. Our software has been implemented and tested over the last few months. Uh, their hardware is now uh, finalized, and so uh, they're ready to go. There will be a little label on the product that says Step On Board. Uh, this particular car kit from GT Telecom is called the uh, R1 car kit.